Seneca on time. You have plenty of time. I hear this a lot from the owls. Lots and lots and lots of owls. You guys come in asking for advice, asking for help. And then when I present some solutions, or at least maybe even the inklings of a direction towards solutions, what is it that we hear? We've all seen it. I just don't have time. No time to read the book. No time to plan out your month. No time to organize your life. But the philosopher Seneca let us know a very important piece of information about that. And it's that you're full of it. Of course you have enough time. You have as much time in a day as Elon Musk. You have as much time in a day as Jesus did. You have as much time in a day as Stalin did. That's right, the same amount of time to do the greatest good or the greatest evil. You have plenty of time. You see, the problem isn't enough time. It's that you waste it. Seneca tells us, not only do you have enough time, but you actually have plenty of time, an absolute abundance of it. In fact, the disciplined philosopher often accomplishes in a month what others accomplish in a lifetime. Or what others can't accomplish in a lifetime. And you know this is true. Because look around you. Every single thing you see in your life is a testament to it. The millionaires, the billionaires, the successful entrepreneurs, we all see at least one example of it on a daily basis every day. How much does the average billionaire accomplish in a day compared to what you do in a day? They have the same hours in the day. So what's the deal? Seneca observed how odd it is that we will fight to keep every single dollar we earn, which, frankly, can be easily regained. And yet, we will hand away our most valuable resource of all, something that can never be regained. We freely hand out our time. We give things, people, and activities our time so freely, yet it is something that can never be regained. How much have you given to a bottle in a parties? How much have you given to pursuing a love interest? How much have you given to a flashing screen, TV, video game, movies, the internet, social media? predatory AI consuming your attention, going into the very faculties of how your brain functions, hijacking it, manipulating the chemistry of your brain to force you into an addiction. All in control. System control. Attention control. Data control. How much has it taken from you? Slowly but surely it becomes clear as the hours start to add up. You want to know some terrifying facts? <laughs> I know you guys do. I know you do. Well, after that little speech, probably not, right? But, alas, we pursue the truth even though it hurts us, isn't that right? Yeah. So, some terrifying facts. The average person 
waste over 50% of their time at work. That's the average. That's you. The average person then goes on to waste six to eight hours of their free time outside of work. And guys, here's the craziest part. That's just what people were willing to self-admit to. That's three entire careers over the course of nine years thrown away. In fact, a study showed that top performers, when they studied their work, this is very interesting. You think of the top performers working all the day. You think about the 100-hour work weeks. And it is true. They do do that. But, but, and that's a big but, they don't put 100 hours into a single project. They're very different projects. Elon Musk has SpaceX, he's got Tesla, he's got all these different products going on that he puts in this time. Now, why am I telling you that? Well, studies showed that you actually aren't able to operate at your highest performing level, the most difficult task, the most taxing of your body or your brain for more than two to three hours. After that, your performance significantly drops off. And this is assuming you're the best at what you do. You have to remember, a billionaire is no different than being a professional athlete or being the top of any field. These are well-trained, talented, and naturally gifted people. So when we studied those people, we found three hours was it. After three hours, the, even the best of the best were just dramatic drop-offs in performance, quality, and everything. The top performers will only put three hours of dedicated, focused effort into any one given project. And that project, on, off, on average is making more than you probably will in your lifetime. So where's the disconnect? Well, as unbelievable as it might sound, I have the answer for you here in the book of Seneca on the shortness of life. That's right, some stoic philosopher from thousands of years ago has the answer to that question. And no, you weren't taught it in school. And that's an ongoing theme you guys have, may have noticed from coming to these lectures here on Saturdays, hanging out, having fun. Why? Are we constantly going over the very, very valuable pieces of information that have been known for thousands of years and they're not being taught at school? Why are our systems setting us up for failure? Keep that in mind as we move forward into the solution. The solution is simple. You don't have a time problem. You have a priority problem. You have plenty of time. You just waste it. The Lord tells us to separate the wheat from the chaff. He also goes on to say in James 4.14, What is your life? For you are a mist that appears for a little time and then vanishes. You need sleep. You need to eat. You need to produce value so you can afford to eat and sleep. Well, where does that leave you? Well, it leads us all the way back to the Greek gods, like Perses. He suffered from procrastination. Oh, oh, you thought this was a modern problem. Oh, you thought this was, oh, this is a thing because of the internet. Oh, this this lousy AI, it's the reason why of, oh, if it weren't for my situations. If it wasn't for this time, boy, would I be free. No. 
because they've had this problem around for all of recorded history. And further still, into the legacies, the oral traditions of Perseus, the Greek god. He spoke with his brother. And his brother told him, Perseus, you are wasting your time. And you will be rewarded for how you're choosing to put your time into things. The rewards you're going to receive are mediocrity and shame. Hassad, Percy's brother, tells Percy's that he will give him the secrets of overcoming this problem. He reveals to them that your time is just like money and you choose to invest it and you could choose to invest it in things that rot, depreciate and decay or you can choose to plant it into places that thrive and grow this opened Percy's eyes and he saw how he would put so much time and effort into the thought of just a few gold coins, even a small amount of money, and how he would choose to invest it wisely. And yet he had never spent but a few minutes planning how he would spend his time. With this reveal to Percy's, he was able to bester invest, overcome his procrastination, and he was able to reap the rewards. You spend months sometimes, years, considering how we will invest even a small amount of money. How many hours have you spent planning how you will invest your time? Now, those of you who have worked with me to know that 90% of the secret of the success that I've been able to bring you is that we create this schedule for your time. With 400,000 followers, I've yet to have a single person who has ever planned out an investment plan for their time until they met me. That's a huge problem. That's a really huge problem. <laughs> Because, as Seneca put it best, what amount of time would suffice? Think about it, he says. I'll give you 300 years. I'll give you 600 years. I'll give you 900 years. You would squander that abundance away just like you're doing with the time God gave you. You have plenty of time. You just waste it. But there's another problem still. Most don't have their time investment plans, but even fewer commit to a focused effort. When was the last time you sat down, you turned off your phone, closed all your tabs, picked one thing on your to-do list, and did only that? If you're like most people, which, yes, they studied, You spend about 10 minutes a day doing focused effort on any one task. That's right. 10 measly minutes. So what that entrepreneur was doing in two hours, you do in 12 days. And he's better at it than you because he's been doing this for years now. You have plenty of time. You're just choosing to waste it. Imagine, if you will, before you as a long strand of carnival tickets. Each day you pluck one off, and it can take you anything in the world. But at the end of the tickets, your time is up, and the show is over. That is your life. And that is your time. Will you invest those tickets into another TV show? 
another social media scroll? Will you drown it into another bottle and party? Will you put it into something that will grow and thrive? Perhaps your mind, perhaps new experiences or training, perhaps a wonderful time spent with your family and loved ones. But alas, when you go to invest that ticket, you are met with another option. You can divide your tickets. You can shred it into pieces. And you can put some into social media. And you can put some into worrying about your work. And you can put a small little sliver into time spent with your loved ones. Or do you want to put all your time into being with the ones that you love? The choice is obvious. In the land of the multitasker, the single tasker is king. How much time did you throw away into a false education system called school? Why were you never taught these invaluable lessons? Well, the prince of this earth rules this realm, and he hates you. But you know what? We cannot regain the time that was stolen from us, from school, and this indoctrination system, this debt slavery called college. These false teachers. We can never regain the time that we lost. But you know what we can do? Is we can continue to deposit time thinking about how it's unfair. And that leads us to Seneca's final lesson. Invest only into that which you can control. Many years are wasted worrying about things that never come to pass. Many years are wasted worrying about problems in the world we can never control. Many years are wasted playing the victim of unfortunate circumstances. 9,000 years invested into what we can't control won't produce a single fruit. Never invest your ticket into a lottery because you have plenty of time. You just waste it. Invest wisely. Thank you for listening to my unprofessional, non-PhD thoughts, which of course makes me better than a PhD, but not much better or any better than you. I recently read On the Shortness of Life by Seneca and put this little piece together. You can find the script below by commenting and saying, I'm interested or I'd like the script, something like that in the comment section below. If you would like to make your own remix of just my voice and you want to put your music over it, you want to put your visuals over it, that uh, is fully allowed. Um, this is about just getting the ideas out there to see what other people think, a digital dialectic of sorts, and reaching out to what I call the 1,000 Owls. Um, if you don't know what that is, you'll have to join the stream, which I won't tell you when it is. That's secret information. So you can like my stream. You can like my channel, I should say. And subscribe and catch me when we're live. And from there, you'll gain more information. Follow the White Owl. Thank you for joining. And I'll talk to you guys later.